Nderitu Muridi, the chairman of Raila Odinga's secretariat campaign team, is really working hard. And I think in my analysis, Raila made a very good choice to choose Nderitu Muridi. This morning, Monday 17th January, Nderitu Muridi hosted 30 governors in Enshipai Hot Resort Hotel and SPA in Naivasha, Nakuru County. A very key political meeting that lasted for 30 minutes, not 30 minutes, lasted for three hours. Then after that, they held a press conference. I watched that press conference and one thing he realized is that that press conference revealed some four mega strategies that Nderitu Muridi is putting up to upscale the possibility of Raila Odinga becoming the fifth president of Kenya. I was so keen on that press conference. And even though it was actually reported that Raila Odinga is meeting those governors, but I want to say that that meeting was convened by Nderitu Muridi. There is a, a text message screenshot that actually was shared. Um, it has been in social media of that invite. And also, if you read, I also happen to have read the media invite that was sent to the journalist who went to cover that press briefing that President uh, Raila Odinga is meeting the 30 governors. So after that meeting, those governors came out and endorsed Raila Odinga's presidency. If you're new to this channel, take a second and subscribe. Give this video a like so that YouTube will rate our videos and it will be suggested to many people. Again, I want to say thank you very much. We have reached the 1,000 subscribers mark. As I was doing this video, we were at past 1,000. Guys, thank you. Because I know that with that, really, we are heading somewhere. It is cold in Nairobi. Very, a little bit, the weather is a little bit gloomy. I don't know how your place is. You can also get to us wherever you are watching. Nderitu Muridi is going to make sure that Raila Molodinga is the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. And by the way, there is something I was just asking you myself. Why is it that most political meetings are normally held in Naivasha? What is so special about Naivasha? By the way, that is just a rhetorical question. Oka wa Naivasha William Root at some point was in Naivasha. Raila Odinga has been hosting, holding meetings in Naivasha. I don't know what about it. So that meeting, there are some few observations before I actually um, uh, analyze on the inner strategy by Nderita Muridi. There are some few observations that I made that were made there. One is the presence of Kilifi governor Jeffa Amazon Kingi. Amazon Kingi has his own party. And I think yesterday or on Friday, he released a statement that he's not going to field a presidential candidate, but he's going to field for senators, MP, and the other positions. But in presidency, he's going to support Raelo Dinga. Of course, I will analyze later on on that political move. But the press, his presence there speak volumes. He has finally joined Raila Odinga. Um, another person also, Kivoda Kibwana, announced officially that he has shared his presidential ambitions in 2022 to support Raila Odinga. A very uh, key statement that is very informative of the politics. The same, another, another person that I also realized there is Amos Nyaribo. Amos Nyaribo is the governor of Nyamira, 
who took over from Nyagarama after Nyagarama passed on. And yesterday, just over the weekend, he hosted ANC leader Musalim Davadi. He was in that meeting supporting the loading. So there's just a lot. So one of the strategies that Nderitu Muridi has put up to support Raila Odinga is to drop back governors who defected from Azimula Umoja or from Raila Odinga. I want to say that before this meeting was held today, there was another meeting that was held yesterday where actually uh, Alex Tolgos, the El Marakwet governor, spoke and said that he met Raila Odinga with um, West Pokot governor in Rangapuo, and they spoke about IO issues. So I also want to understand that part of uh, yesterday, Raila must, might have also had, had another closed door meeting with Kingi so that Kingi could join his team. Neritu Muridi is very strategic. He's a governor and he's in the governor's caucus. So what he's doing is trying to reach out to the governors in areas, governors who can support Azimula Umoja to bring. So I want to be believe that part of a team that convinced Kingi to join his team was Neritu Muridi. Um, uh, Nderit Muridi also must have played a very pivotal role in convincing Wangamati, who is a uh, Fort Kenya governor from Bungoma, also in convincing other governors like Ivuda Kibwana to join the Lodinga. So because, and that is why I analyze that, because he's from the governor's caucus, he's going to center his campaigns around the governors. That is one. Two, second strategy that is using is pushing for a post-election pact with the governors, between Raila Odinga and the governors. The reason why this is very important is this. You know, there are governors like uh, Amazon Kingi, Hassan Joho, Ongwai, like these second term governors who are not seeking re-election. What is their interest? All they want is ministerial positions, ambassador, ambassador uh, parastatos in the share of that government. So, because like they cannot now go to the ground and campaign for Ailo Dinga and bring the votes. But what they can be promised is this position. So I think Nderitu Muridi is also meeting this caucus so that he can convince them, people like Martin Wambura, he can convince them to sign a pre-election pact with Ailo Dinga. So that in the event that Azimio Laumoje forms the next government, they can be considered for positions. The one group of that governor is the ones that are second term governors. The other group are highly contested counties. For example, um, El Geo Marakot governor, Alex Tolkus. He was part of that. Uh, that is uh, Alex Tolgos. I want to, in this category, I want to single out Alex Tolgos and Kajado Olelenko. They are facing stiff competition from UDA. And for sure, I can tell you that Alex Tolgos from El Marakwet, if UDA is going to feel a strong gubernatorial candidate there, then he can lose. That is what happened with Isaac Ruto, because politics is local. That's why Isaac Ruto was a good candidate, but he lost to the late Laboso in Bomet. So these candidates, these, these governors are being promised to support Raila Odinga on board in the event that if Raila forms the next government, they will be considered. I think that is one. Second, another batch of governors that I also want to brought is governors who want to buy on a Zimila Umoja ticket. So that maybe people are pushing for, they come with their parties, but they find, they get the benefits of a Zimila Umoja. So these pre-election pacts are going to help cement the governor's support for Raila Odinga. Um, another strategy by Nderitu Mridi is 
to sell the devolution card. You know, what is at the interest of governors is devolution. So, and if you, if you listen to that speech, they say that it was about strengthening devolution, but I know that was for the camera. But behind the scene, they were just trying to put up strategies in terms of what they were going to do. So, one thing I understand is to set the devolution card and also to really promise that Raila Odinga is going to support devolution. Lastly, that meeting was actually, that is why it is not last. It is last but not the least. That meeting was held to discuss Raila Odinga's next political rallies. This week, Raila will be in Homa Bay and Kajado. And you saw Kajado governor, uh, not Homa Bay and Kajado, he will be in Homa Bay and Narok. So you saw Olilenko was there strategically and actually spoke and Homa Bay. But I think also they are trying to find modalities that when they come to your county, how would you want the Azimula Umoja to work with you? Would you want to be the MC? Would you want to run... Uh, would you want to plan it? How would you want to gain visibility? And then in the order, so that when they meet these governors, they check meet. After we are from Narok and Homa Bay, which other area can we go to? And again, can we also cascade the campaign secretariat to the counties? So that is also one of the reasons why that meeting was held. But you know that is a top secret, so they cannot reveal that. I want to believe that they cannot reveal that roadmap because that is top security if you do that william Ruto will be going to those places before you go so he, they cannot reveal that but that is also part of the meeting lastly i think and little Muridi is also trying to mobilize for resources yeah for ilo dinga governors are key so maybe some of them in in this part of this pre-election pact is finding a way they can partner with ilo dinga and even mobilize financial resources, resources that are needed in terms of uh, even how Raila is going to that place and how Raila is traveling. So I think uh, the campaigns, the Zimila Umoja campaigns are also very strategic. So guys, that was my um, analysis in terms of that meeting. You can also get to a comment section and tell us what you think about, what you think was the objective of that meeting. And uh, let's continue pushing, let's continue subscribing from wherever you're watching i want to say big shout out uh, now to our other follower that is very strong supporter of this channel called charles munene thank you